Welcome back Valley friends, today we're hanging out with Scar in the quest Friends Aren't Food. To unlock this quest, you will need to reach level 2 friendship with Scar, and you'll need to have Remy in your valley. Once you've met all the requirements you can chat to Scar to get started. We've come to offer Scar some help getting settled into the valley, but clearly Scar doesn't need our help. Instead, he criticizes the clothes we're wearing telling us it's not suitable for a ruler and that he cannot meet with us unless we're dressed appropriately. He suggests we find someone that can help us make something a bit more regal to wear. Once we have some appropriate attire, he might consider meeting with us again. We think perhaps Mother Gothil will be able to help us craft something new. Scar's not so sure and warns us to be careful around the woman that lives in the willow. I find it interesting how he's the one to warn us against another villain like himself. We'll need to head over to chat with Mother, hopefully she can help us with our current problem. Mother Gothil doesn't understand why we would allow Scar to remain in the valley and believes he is a danger to some of the other villagers, after all he might eat them if he gets too grumpy. We tell her that Scar won't speak to us until we have a coat worthy of a ruler, Mother being her helpful self suggests we turn Scar into a new coat. But we're not having any of that, so she reluctantly agrees to help us create a new coat and gives us a list of materials she'll need. Some of these are a bit odd, but she won't answer any of our questions, so we'll need to trust the process for now, but we'll need to keep an eye on her, she might be up to something. Let's start collecting all the materials we'll need. First up we're going to need 10 pieces of fiber. For this you will need some seaweed which you can collect by fishing outside the bubbles in any body of water. Then you can use the seaweed to craft some fiber at your crafting station. Then we will need 4 pieces of fabric which I already had, but you can craft these from cotton. Seeds for cotton can be purchased from Goofy in the Sunlit Plateau. Then we'll need to go mining for 2 citrines in the Sunlit Plateau or Glade of Trust. And lastly, we will need 1 iron ingot, for this we will need to mine for iron in the Forest of Valor or Glade of Trust, then use these at our crafting station to make some iron ingots. Once we have all our materials we can head back over to mother so that she can make us our new coat. As expected, mother had her own agenda, and the citrines were not part of the materials for the coat but rather her form of payment. She'll be adding them to her collection of jewels. At least when Scrooge asks for gems, he tells us they're for payment. But at least she has delivered the coat as promised, I just hope it meets Scar's high standards. We'll need to put on our new coat before heading to meet up with Scar again. Once you have your new coat on you can go meet the lion. Scar is satisfied with our new outfit, and we can finally get to the root of his current problem. Scar is hangry. He doesn't have any prey to catch in the valley, and by the sounds of it he's been considering eating our feathery friend Donald. We need to figure out what the lion can eat and quickly before he consumes one of the other villagers. I'm sure Remy will be able to help us figure out what meals will work for the lion. Scar is not hopeful, he remembers disliking Remy's cooking prior to the forgetting. Hopefully Remy has some new recipes that Scar might actually enjoy. Head over to chat with Remy.
Remy instantly realizes why we've come to see him, he recognizes the coat and knows we've come to discuss meals for Scar. Remy is daunted by the idea of cooking for the lion because he is the toughest critic in the valley and can always find fault with Remy's cooking. But he's up for the challenge and hopefully this time we can satisfy the lion's appetite. He wants us to prepare the main meal while he takes care of dessert. He will give us all the recipes we'll need. Once you're done chatting with Remy, you can open your inventory to learn the recipes for tekamaki and seikmaki. Then you will need to collect all the ingredients if you don't have them yet. First we'll need rice, which you can purchase from Goofy's stall in the Glade of Trust. And we'll need soya from his stall in the Sunlit Plateau. Then we will need salmon which you can find by fishing up the white or blue bubbles in the sunlit plateau and the frosted heights. You will also need some seaweed which you can catch in any biome by fishing outside the bubbles. And finally, we're going to need some tuna which we can catch from white or blue bubbles in the Glade of Trust or the Forgotten Lands. Once we have all our ingredients, we can head over to our nearest stove to start cooking. You will need to make two servings of each recipe. Make sure you have all the meals in your bag, then head back over to Remy so that he can inspect the dishes before we deliver them to Scar. Remy is impressed by our cooking skills. He has also prepared a coconut cake as dessert for Scar. We're now ready to deliver everything to the lion, hopefully he enjoys the meal and doesn't turn on us. We will need to follow Remy as he heads over to meet with Scar. You will need to watch the interaction between the two villagers. Once the two are done with their interaction you can chat with Scar again. This will conclude the quest, friends aren't food. As always please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I will see you next time as we continue our adventures with the Grumpy Lion.